Right, so this is a good place as any to record a new video. It's been a bit difficult to record videos recently because uh, the lighting is not great in the apartment and then when I'm out I just want to sunbathe and tr explore and things like that. Anyway, so today I want to explore uh, a bit more about the the 90 aisle technique. Uh, so this is essentially a way that you can lucid dream very very quickly uh, within a few seconds I would say. So yeah, this is um, <clears throat> a way of lucid dreaming very quickly within just a few uh, a few seconds. And I did actually explain this in detail on my live stream, but I really just wanted to give a little bit more detail about this just because I feel like it wasn't explained that well and also it took a very long time to explain it. So this is going to be the concise version, the short version of how you can lucid dream in five seconds or five minutes. It depends roughly. I don't want to be too clickbaity because it really does depend on how you follow the steps and you know how well you do that. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the concise version of the 90 aisle technique, which is a technique I invented which will let you lucid dream very, very quickly. And so firstly, my last video was a joke when I said about uh, how to lucid dream yesterday. That was obviously a joke video. Uh, I hope not too many of you took that seriously. So, let's try and find the best lighting here. So the 90 aisle technique is, uh, is a combination of all of the lucid dreaming techniques that you're very familiar with, for example the way back to bed, the wild, the mild, uh, but it sort of combines them in a way that makes them all more effective. So the best way I have of explaining this is, imagine your sleep is broken up into 90 minute chunks, which it is by the way, this is your, the length of your sleep cycles. So each sleep cycle is 90 minutes to 120 minutes. The idea behind the 90 aisle is you set your alarm on your phone to go off every 90 minutes. When it goes off, the first thing you do is you do a reality check. This is to avoid, avoid false awakening loops and also to just make it easier uh, to have lucid dreams long term. So you do a reality check, you then write your dreams down. The next thing you do is you go through and you do, um, you do cycles of, for example, the senses induced lucid dream, you do the cycle of that and then you would do the finger-induced lucid dream, so you would imagine moving your fingers and then that would shut, help shut your brain off as you uh, fall back to sleep and that is combining the wake back to bed method and then you also do things like as you're doing that you repeat affirmations to yourself I will lucid dream, I can control my dreams, this sort of thing, right? So, uh, so and by doing that, by, by doing that every 90 minutes throughout the entire night you're very likely to lucid dream very quickly now I did actually uh, write a blog post about this explaining in a very large amount of detail how it works and you can actually find that blog post, I'll link in the description to that uh, and you can read up more about it there because that's going to really help you, it's going to explain in much more detail how the technique works and what you need to do. Uh, but so really it's just a bit of a, a summary video I guess of the live stream I did which was I think it was about 40, it ended up being 40 minutes long in the end, can you believe that? 40 minutes of me answering you guys' questions and uh, having internet and audio problems and all this sort of nonsense so yeah we're back to simple videos now five minutes or so hopefully I don't ramble too long in this one so that's the 90 hour technique you know if, if you were a beginner if you're looking if you're looking for something to get started with that is the technique I would suggest you start with because it's the most effective it combines all of the other techniques and makes them the most it makes it the most effective technique overall so that is what I would suggest. Now in terms of the type of videos that I might create in the future, it's hard to say really because I've, I've uh, made another video about how Explore Lucid Dreaming has uh, become such a reckoning force in this, in this space. And so the video I made sort of answered that question, you know, how did he do it? How has he suddenly gained over 200,000 subscribers when the people like me who have been doing this for several years, posted hundreds of videos, we're nowhere near that. And I think the answer is in the YouTube algorithm and also the type of videos. For example, the edited, nice uh, B-roll stock footage type of thing with the text edited over it. Uh, so I will be experimenting with that type of video going forward. And then one more thing, which I'm, I'm actually going to make a more detailed video about this, uh, you know, explaining just about this uh, in depth. But the Lucid Guide, Daniel Love, has recently sort of shifted his focus to creating more dreamscape type uh, guided meditation soundtracks for lucid dreaming. I've listened to the first one and I have to say it's really, it's really good, uh, really interesting. I've, I think I've written on the blog about how sound influences your dreams and how the sounds that you hear while you're sleeping actually do enter your dreams and, and influence it in a big way. 
So this is that this is taking that that one step further, and it's just going to add uh, a huge amount of interesting dynamic effects to your lucid dreams. Um, and as I said, the the first one is on his YouTube channel, which is now called Ethereum. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Ethereum. There'll be a link in the description. Um, yeah, you should check that out. And so I would recommend doing that with the wake back to bed, or even as you're doing the 90 aisle technique, just put this, put the soundtrack on loop in the background and see what, see what you think, see how it goes. If you do like it, go and check out his website. He's actually selling a download to that track, uh, unless you would rather just play it on YouTube, but I would recommend you go and support him and his work because he's been one of the OG lucid dreaming YouTubers uh, and he certainly inspired me in a big way as well. So go and check it out. Beyond that, uh, I guess subscribe, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the 90 aisles technique. And let me know what you think I should do with titles as well. I'm never, I'm never sure how to title these videos simply because I want you guys to click on them and watch them, but at the same time, I don't want to be clickbaity. And I, I've been accused in the past of being sort of clickbaity with the titles, but I feel like if you're not clickbaity, no one, you just wouldn't watch the video, right? So there has to be some element of uh, enticing people to click, otherwise you wouldn't click, right? I mean, the fact that you guys click on clickbaity titles means that they do work and it means that it's a good way of getting people to watch videos. Uh, and I always try and be descriptive. I try and you know make sure that the title actually does describe what the video is going to be about. Um, and in this in this case, for this video, you can lose your dream in five minutes, five seconds. It really depends on... Uh, that particular lucidity attempt, I guess. So in my opinion, it's very accurate, but it's up for debate, isn't it? So leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.